what we have just done is to alert the people of Anambra State that it will be in their best interest to come out and vote for a governor of their choice. Because if for one reason or the other, they frustrate INEC in the conduct of the election, and it pushes on up to the time the governor will leave office, nature abhors vacuum. Something must give way. Something must be done. So it is in their own interest to go and vote so that they don't get that thing that may be worse than what they have. Go and read their constitution. If such a thing exists, the president has powers, absolute powers by a constitution to do the needful. So that time you start crying. So go and vote. We are advising you as a political as political parties. Go and vote now. Allow peace to reign. Go and vote. After voting, you can continue with the agitation. But if you frustrate INEC, if you frustrate INEC, I may be the one the president will send to run the state. <laughs> so I don't need to go to the state assembly. That's it. There is nothing you can do about it. That's it. So somebody will come because there will be no vacuum by one minute after the expiration of tenor of Obiano. So that's why we are pleading with them. We are begging them. Forget everything. Just one day, Saturday, go and catch your vote. Then on Sunday, Monday after election, you can continue with the agitation. But allow this election to hold. That's why we are here. We commend you for your untiring effort to ensure that our polity is stabilized with your objective reportage. The last time we met a few weeks back, the council had reason to draw attention of all stakeholders on two key areas. The compelling need to work harmoniously together to have free, fair, credible, and peaceful elections across the country. And the other, for all to ensure that we work collectively, irrespective of our misgivings with relevant stakeholders to reverse the inclement security situation in the country that kept on spiking day in, day out, headline more with kidnapping, abduction, killing, and wanton destruction of property. Our intervention then was informed by the patriotic quest to ensure that the polity is stabilized and all actors are mobilized productively towards instituting a conducive environment to hold credible polls and support the electoral and political system. As you are all aware that the Anambra State Governorship election comes up on Saturday, 6 November 20, 2021, that's this Saturday, with all the 18 political parties participating in this crucial election that will redefine governance in Anambra State and deepen constitutional rule in Nigeria, more so as the Independent National Electoral Commission has assured that it will adopt electronic transmission of results during the exercise. The Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, as the umbrella body of the 18 registered political parties in Nigeria, has been in the vanguard for the use of electronic voting and transmission of results, which guarantee free, fair, credible, transparent, and peaceful and generally acceptable elections. The Council commends the Senate for listening to the Nigerian people who strongly oppose its rejection of electronic, electronic transmission of results, reversed itself, passed the bill in support of it, and directed INEC to use it in future elections while awaiting Mr. President's assent. This is in tandem with the aspiration of all lovers of democratic governance in Nigeria. The need for transparency and credibility of our electoral process, therefore, cannot be overemphasized as we jointly consolidate our emergence, emerging democracy. Indeed, election is the beauty of democracy. Peaceful transfer of power after a free, fair, and credible election is the hallmark of representative governance. The ballot is sacrosanct. The mandate of the people freely given in an election must be respected for sustainable democracy in the country. Accordingly, APA calls on all stakeholders in the electoral process to ensure the success of the 6th November 2021 gubernatorial poll in Anambra State. We should all set aside our individual differences and partisan politics and work towards the success of this crucial election that will take the good people of Anambra State to the next level. The Council urges all agreed persons and stakeholders to sheath their swords and embrace peace in the interests of Anambra State in particular and the nation in general. It is better to Georgia than to World War. Dialogue is vital to resolving individual and group differences and chart the way forward. 
It is only representative democracy, powered by the people, through free, fair, inclusive, and safety-laden pools that can guarantee a people-centered government and governance that will work for the liberation of Ndianambra in particular and Nigeria in general. The Inter-Party Advisory Council calls on the youth to eschew violence in all its ramifications and show political buccaneers masquerading as Democrats, whose talk in trade is to use them for electoral toggery, ballot snatching, and rigging to toward the people's mandate. It is time to jettison do or die politics, imbibe issue-based politics, and embrace the people's choice for governor. We must respect the sanctity of the ballot box as a symbol of democracy. It is obvious that democracy can only flourish in a peaceful environment. It is our only hope of building a strong, united, stable, prosperous, equitable, and just society. A threat to democratic process is a threat to Anambra State, as it is to the Nigerian nation. It is unacceptable and must be re resisted by all patrons. We therefore urge all stakeholders to rise to the occasion, defend our free democracy and its institutions, and ensure that this Saturday's governorship election is successful and meets international standards. Furthermore, council pleads with eligible voters to turn out in mass and vote for their preferred candidates, and ensure their vote count in overall results. The era of vote buying and selling is over. The electorate should not sell their, their destiny for mess of electoral portrage. They should vote according to their conscience as power belongs to the people. We we'll also encourage INEC to do everything within its power to provide level playing field to all political parties and their candidates participating in the election and ensure electoral materials are provided and voting starts are scheduled in all polling units in the state. The neutrality of INEC in this election will determine the survival of democracy in Nigeria. All eyes on, on the commission, all eyes are on the commission and its officials as they discharge this onerous civic responsibility. IPAC demands security agents to discharge their duties professionally and ensure adequate protection of lives and property during the exercise. We encourage them to equally release dedicated phone numbers for people to call if there is any breach of peace in their units. They must not indulge in overzealous security oversight and must respect sanctity of lives of the people of Anambra State. This period, especially, this pose is very strategic, not only for our democratic journey, but also for perception profile of our great country as viewed by the international community. We are deeply troubled with the loss of lives in Anambra and other parts of the country. These deaths are needless and have exposed us as a bunch of animists that have no value for human lives. We plead with everyone to allow peace to reign, as this is the only way forward for all of us. This indeed is no time, to, no time for blaming. We have wronged them ourselves. We need family, communal, and national healing and reorientation. And we employ all to embrace peace. In the Anambra, please let us go to this Anambra governmental election. As patriotic Nigerians, discharge our patriotic duties peacefully, consolidate our democratic our democratic democracy and reap its dividends. We are all in this together. Together we will make Nigeria great again and bequeath a decent democratic nation to our future generations. The importance of this press conference, we are divided ourselves into two. We say some of us should be a number today because there's a stakeholders meeting between INEC, security agencies, political parties, candidates. So, as we are representing the 18 political parties here, some six chairmen are also there right now as I'm talking to you, representing us at the stakeholders meeting in Anambra. And as you see us standing here, as we finish this France conference, all of us, some are living today for Anambra, some are living tomorrow for Anambra, will be all in Anambra in order to boost the morale of and uh, the morale and confidence of uh, voters in Anambra. If we from other states of the Federation will be in Anambra in order to make sure that Anambra people exercise their, uh, franchise. Uh, their franchise, then why should the uh, indigenous of Anambra not come out to exercise that franchise? So that's uh, what is happening.